Hello guys, welcome to Shadows Play, and this is Charon talking to you about dark food today. Uh, so, uh, as you all know, uh, I own two dogs, uh, and not own actually. Uh, we are a five-member family. Uh, uh, one a Spitz named Scooby, and uh, other a Lab. Uh, his name is Shadow. So basically, why I am here and what I'm talking to you about is about the food uh, that that we give to our puppies in India. Here, we, we do not have an array of brands but which fall in a price bracket, but anything that fits to the budget is what usually, uh, you know, people opt for here. It's When it comes to commercial food, Royal Canine is one uh, who's around uh, for a long time, been a quality player in the market. And Royal Canine is quite expensive, you know. Uh, many don't prefer just because of the price with the right amount of nutrition and the right amount of quality products going into making one of the best kibbles out there but does not fall into certain price brackets and unfortunately it's not reachable to the common man so a lot of uh, you know dog owners w look for alternatives uh, some of them go with pedigree uh, some of them go with NND uh, you know you have loads more so why I'm here is just to give you an insight into what other products you can get and which would be bang for your buck. So yeah, recently uh, a month ago when I got my lab puppy, I was skeptical about which product to go to and I was more inclined to go towards Royal Canine. And uh, then upon more research over the net and I did find out that there's certain other brands within India, manufactured within India, which are doing way better than Royal Canine not prominently visible in the market but when you talk to dog owners and you can see the overall growth and the progress which the puppy is making uh, by consuming those products and the quality and the time and the research gone into making these products is in par with those of the uh, French I mean the Royal Canine so one of these products which I came across the net and I am a user of this is the focus puppy dog food by uh, drools. So, as we all know, Drools is a subsidiary of Pedigree. For the others who do not, yes, uh, uh, Pedigree and Drools are owned by Mars, uh, the chocolate manufacturer. So, what they do uh, here in India, they have a plant in Punjab where uh, they do the same scientific research, not in par with those of the French, but in India, all the products here are mainly manufactured in that plant so coming from that plant and having a completely different ingredient base from that of pedigree now why i'm comparing it to pedigree is because it falls in the same price bracket and more and more uh, indian customers you know uh, are moving towards that yellow packet but why a few of them are very skeptical about rules is rules has a lot of products to offer they have uh, rules optimum they have rules performance they have rules uh, focus focus is top of the uh, top of the line brand uh, i mean the top of the line uh, product which they're offering so uh, keeping in mind uh, the ingredients which are uh, going in making these uh, kibbles is the main ingredient in royal canine and pedigree is corn well folks uh, corn is not the right uh, you know the base for making the kibble uh, whereas chicken is uh, folks keep in mind that whatever uh, domesticated animal you are raising uh, when you ca uh, compare it with the taxonomy and the hierarchy of the uh, biological ancestors they do come from wolves and if you own cats they come from the free of uh, f uh, feline ancestors so they they traditionally have been feeding on you know are basically on a non-vegetarian diet they're wild animals so it's very difficult for them to adopt to a wedge diet and stay fit and healthy all the time and show the same optimum growth rate so to keep them happy and to keep them fit it, it is essential when you're domesticating an animal that you're giving them the optimum requirement of their nutrition and you're not denying it in any way uh, being a good owner uh, yeah, so why I went with uh, rules, uh, sorry if I went beyond there. Uh, so why I went with rules is uh, essentially because 
base product in rules is chicken and it is not just chicken byproducts like uh, chicken wings or chicken skin it's the proper chicken i mean proper chicken in the sense uh it is made up of uh, i don't know exactly uh, but it is not the byproduct so that's very clearly mentioned uh, over the internet and uh, i had an opportunity uh, to call up rules i just uh, had a conversation with them uh, about my skeptic uh me being skeptical about that product and uh, trying that product for the first time and they were very keen to let me know that many of their uh, uh customers uh, or royal canine customers are switching over to focus rules so yeah that's a good sign for the company as well and that is an indication that the product is doing really well and yeah uh, while talking about the ingredients the ingredient base is chicken and you have linseed oil uh, and uh uh, a few more which are quintessential and not present in the others now what is not present in the others is fish oil which is present only in royal canine now fish oil is some ingredient which does not come in cheap products like pedigree so keep in mind that yeah uh, they contain the vital nutrients and the uh, with vitamins that your dog requires which are not in your kibble so you would go for aftermarket products maybe like uh, you know uh, the fish capsules uh, the oil capsules which you get so yeah instead of uh, choosing for alternate uh, it would it would be it it would also fit your budget by going with uh, rules focus puppy and me uh, me especially uh, with shadow uh, that's my lab i've i've seen an, an not an exponential uh, growth i mean obviously he's a puppy he's 2 months uh, he's turning 3 uh, next week so yeah comparing him with his brother uh, well uh, his brother's name is apu uh, so uh, Apu stays across the road and uh, he's with his mother. He, obviously, him uh, he's feeding on his mother's milk and Shadow gets to feed on his mother's milk uh, less than once a week. So keeping that in fact and comparing the growth rate of both these animals, I mean uh, both these brothers, sorry, I can see that Apu has grown more on a wider side well he he seems to have a bit more uh more uh worth uh with respect to his uh uh hind legs and he seems to be slightly fatter and shorter compared to shadow well uh shadow has a shinier coat uh shadow is taller and shadow's uh front paws are larger than apu's so yeah, uh, these were the prominent features which I observed uh, over two months, uh, the difference between Shadow and Apu. Well, uh, folks, uh, I hope uh, this was not a sponsored product and this is my first video. Uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, I'll keep you updated on the channel. Uh, subscribe to uh, Shadow's House and I'll be rolling out a few new videos about training. So uh, stay tuned and please, 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 uh, please give me honest reviews. Thank you.